Hello friends, welcome to today's daily devotion. I'm reading to you from the 112th Psalm. There are 10 verses and I'm reading all 10. Hear now these words. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in His commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Even in the darkness, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous, good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longing of the wicked comes to nothing. This psalm describes what it will be, I think, when we experience the fullness of the kingdom of God, when Jesus has come to bring heaven to earth. And when we have the faith to live looking forward to that day, then we are able to be the righteous who will never be shaken. We will be those who are generous and lending freely, who conduct our affairs with justice, who take care of the things that we need to take care of, and we will do them well, we will do them right, and we will do them faithfully, not being afraid. We're not there yet. We live in constant fear. Fear that somehow we won't be good enough. Fear that whatever we do is going to fall short. Fear that if we give everything away, we'll have nothing left. Fear that others might look at us strangely and, and ostracize us if we act like Christians should act. My friends, we need to not be fear-based. It's the wicked who will ultimately live in fear. So my friends, may you have faith like the people in Psalm 112 and praise the Lord. And I'll see you on Monday for another daily devotion.